Welcome to this week's intuitive business reading for the collective. I'm very excited. I love doing these because I get to tune in and bring down information from other realms, other um, universes, all of that kind of stuff. It's so cool. Ah, I'm Darlene from the Aligned Path with Darlene. I'm a business psychic, spiritual mentor and intuitive artist. Love what I do. And I actually support business women to have a heartfelt connection with their business. And I love doing that. I love teaching business women intuition, how to how to actually receive it, and then how to tune in and actually play with it and have fun as well. It's so cool. Uh, all right, let's see what's going to. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not using the other deck then. Three cards came out. Attachment, accumulation, defensiveness, and scarcity. Oh. Well, this is this is big. And it's actually the card number two, which is just past one, which is new beginnings. What what attachments do you have to thoughts, patterns, and beliefs and illusions that are not supporting you? Are you accumulating money and not actually enjoying the experience of spending it in a way that is aligned and divine and loving? Because spending money, yes, accumulating is fantastic. And yes, we do need to do that. Need no. It is ben a benefit of us to accumulate money. You know, if something happens, we've got that money there. Yet at the same time, spending money as well in an aligned way and on things that are things, whatever, that are aligned for you, maybe family and business. When you spend it in a joyful way, you will attract more because you're saying to the universe and everything out there, I am loving accumulating money and I'm loving spending the money on things that are aligned for me. And when you say that, the universe goes, right, give them more, give them more, give them more. Now, defensiveness. Do you have defensiveness when someone talks about money? Do your hackles get up? You know, do you get really like defensive and go, hang on, what's, you know, what are you talking about? That's okay. Do you have a scarcity mindset? Now, I definitely had this in the past. I'm so open about it. I definitely had a scarcity mindset. And because I worked on that and I did so much beautiful divine work, it's still there, but like this now like this not so much that's the first card let me show you the first card now the next card oh majestic eminence priestess divine feminine worth now this is a perfect card oh, perfect card to go with this one because what it's saying is once you've looked at you know why you have such a strong attachment to money why you feel that you've really just got to accumulate as much as you can, excuse me, why you get defensive about it and why you have a scarcity mindset, you then move into the beautiful feminine energy of receiving and giving in equal ways and you bring in that priestess energy, the divine feminine, and you feel worthy of having that abundance. You feel worthy of having that money and worthy to spend it. Now, there's actually, I mean, look at this card. There's an amazing tiger. She's holding a beautiful crystal. She's actually got a hand out. There's all these planets and everything. There's earth there. There's actually writing on this card as well. You can't actually read it. The writing is there to remind you that you write your own story. Now, the number is 27, which is nine, which is endings. End, end anything that's negative in regards to money. Next card to come out is releasing, purification, spiritual cleansing, letting go. Now, once you've done that beautiful money work, make sure, and I will say it like this, I'm really careful with my words, make sure you do that purification that cleansing because you've let go of stuff you want to cleanse yourself to allow new beautiful aligned energies everything to come in and that's that card there 
How divine are they? That's this week's intuitive business reading, and I'll see you next week.